and welcome to Dandelion Dollies. 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 Hey everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Dollies, and today I am going to be making, I'm going to be showing you how to make this pattern, and the reason I've got Madahe here is because the pattern that I'm going to do is I'm going to make her, because you can change the pajamas for that pattern, so I'm going to make her, I got this suede today, so since that's very, um, heavy duty, like, you know, it's fur, I'm going to make her one in more of a suede, um, let me show you the inside here. With like some suede fabric. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Let's get right into it. Step one. Make sure your workspace is not overrun by a bunch of other random stuff that you're not going to be using for making the whatever you're making. This is a step one to all of the projects. You don't have to completely clean your desk. Just like clear it off. Step one, complete. Step two, track down the pattern in your bucket of doll patterns. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, here's the sleeve. And here's the body. There's one more piece I need. Let me find it, it's kind of tiny. And the instructions for the pattern. Here we go, now we can get to cutting the pattern pieces out. And what I do when I'm making the body for the doll, this is so you don't have to buy, I think it's like $20 for the pattern, for the actual doll with all the instructions for like the head and everything, and the pattern for the body. What I do is I just make this exact same pattern, but like a little bit smaller so that it um, works and fits into this. Unfold the fabric and then fold it again in a way that makes it so you can lay the pattern pieces out nicely. I'm not going to do the hat yet because I'm not exactly sure how what I want to do for her hat or her hair or whatever I'm going to do for her in this outfit. So, yeah. But this is how I've laid them out. Um, the fold is right here and yeah. So you're just going to want to trace that with a disappearing ink marker. This is like the best thing you can have as a sewer. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on this fabric, but I'll try and then cut it out. Also, for these two, you need to have them slightly away from the fold. You don't want these to be double, like, you know, on the fold, but with the neck one, you have to have it on the fold. Um, just, you know. I think the color turned out, like, like, the purple turned out really well for tracing these lines. I actually originally wanted to get, like, a bit of a lighter color, but it came like this. It looks kind of more, like, green on the camera, but it's, like, I really like it. It's kind of like a, like a like milk chocolate, not milk chocolate, like between dark chocolate and like between like normal chocolate and milk chocolate brown. <laughs> For this project you're also going to need elastic, thread um, in the same color as your fabric obviously, the pattern obviously, pins obviously, and uh, it seems like a lot of these things are obvious except for like that. And also later in the video I'm going to be, sh I'm going to be adding like details to this to make it more of like a Native American, you know, style thing, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, so I'm going to start by threading this bobbin with the brown thread. So now that my sewing machine's all set up, we're going to pin this together. I have the pattern here. Um, these are the ones you can actually buy these in the Waldorf doll shop. Uh, they're so cute. Yeah, I, but, um, so I have the pattern. I've made this a few times. I'm pink. I'm pretty confident with knowing how to make this pattern. Um, like my nails. I don't paint my nails a lot, but um, I still have it just in case I need it. Right sides together. You're gonna want to pin the sleeve to one of the um, bunting pajama pieces, and then sew it. And do the same thing with the other one. So you're gonna want to open that up and then sew it like that. Thank you. 
Make sure you backtack too, but I just didn't want to show that because I was going to need my other hand and I was going to need to do this thing and I didn't want to let go of the fabric, so yeah. And lastly, you're going to, going to pick one of the sleeves and pick the and take the last piece of um, bunting fabric, I'm not exactly sure what to call this, um, and do the same thing we did with those, but with that fabric, I'll show you that because I'm not, con I'm not explaining it in a good way. Pin it like that, so then when you open it up, they'll all be connected. So then when you sew and open it up, it'll all be connected, like that. So now almost all the pieces are together. Don't forget about this little neck strip thing, which I'm pretty sure that's the next thing we're going to be working on. Um, but yes, yeah, so you're going to want to sew them together so they work, so they fit, um, so they go together like this. So yeah, now we're going to sew this elastic casing to the neck opening. So you're just going to want to do this right sides together, and just like work on making your way all the way around the... Um, neck opening. And it's a little uneven because for some reason the um, sleeve patterns don't reach all the way up to this top and I found that it's better to make them um, line up at the armpit than at the neck. Pin it like that and then sew along that line. Now that that's sewn you're just going to want to fold it over and sew it again right on that stitch line and that's going to make a little tube for the elastic to go through. Pin it like that and then sew. Now you're just going to want to um, put um, some elastic on the end of a safety pin and feed it through that tube. When I do it, I do this little like inchworm motion, like I'm gonna see if I can show you, but I need my other hand, but yeah, you just like feed that through. Once the other end of the elastic comes through, you're gonna want to pull this end until it's a good scrunchedness, um, so that it fits snugly around the doll's head. I think that's a good scrunchness, so you're just going to want to sew those ends that are pinned down so that the elastic doesn't come loose. Now you're going to want to sew the elastic casing for the bottom of the sleeves, and that's just by turning this up, like, about that much. These instructions were written in, like, centimeters, millimeters, so it says eight millimeters, but I just, like, estimate because I, um, know the inches method. And I know I can just use a ruler, but, like, still. I just estimate that it just it just works out, and if it's too little, then you can um, then you can seam rip it out, and if it's too much, then just sew it less. The only way you know if it's too much is if on your doll, like you can't like pull it down to the edge of the sleeve, to the edge to like the wrist of the doll. Now you're gonna want to sew it and then feed the elastic through. Honestly, I don't think you guys even need me to do a tutorial for this because it's a very straightforward pattern. But if you want me, but I, I don't know, I just, I'm making it. Why not do a tutorial, you know? Now you're going to want to repeat that whole process for the other sleeve. Now that you've done both sleeves, you're going to want to um, join this together to make the bunting. Just like when we did it at the beginning, you're just going to want to sew those right sides together, except, you know, this time it's sewing the whole thing together. This kind of reminds me of like a Jedi robe, um, but now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick one of the sleeves, it doesn't really matter which, and you're going to sew those elastic things together, and then you're going to want to sew um, one side of this together, but leave the other side open. I will pin that and show you what I mean. So you're going to want to sew starting at the sleeve, and then here you're going to want to pivot the needle, um, and then you're going to want to sew down to the bottom, back tacking, I should put one more pin there, back tacking at the beginning and end. Now that that's all sewn, you're going to want to fold this up, pin it because we're putting elastic on the bottom too. So you've got that sewn, put the elastic through it. Now that that's sewn, you're just going to want to do, you're just going to want to sew from this wrist down to there and then flip it inside out and you're done. Unless like me you're going to add extra details which I was going to do in this video but I think I'm actually going to do in the next video um, but that'll be out pretty soon so you don't have to worry about that. Pin a line like I did just there and then sew it. Now you're just going to want to turn this inside out. And I realize I didn't show you how to do the hat but that's because I'm probably not going to be doing the hat so yeah. Let's try this on a mama hay. This is what the them unclothed look, looks like by the way in case you were wondering. These specific pajamas were a little bit more of a struggle to get her into because they don't have any stretch like any of the other ones, but I think it looks super cute, and stay tuned for the next episode where I make it more like a Native American um, 
little swaddled up doll. But um, that's all for now, my dolls, and I hope you stick around. Bye!